Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And salam sejahtera Okay kali ni kita nak lihat pula tentang Specific heat capacity And also latent heat Okay Muatan haba tentu Dan juga haba pendam tentu Okay so The first very fundamental dalam bab ni selalunya adalah Tak tahu, student tak tahu nak guna yang mana satu Either The question nak guna Q sama dengan M C theta Ataupun nak guna Q sama dengan ML So ni selalunya masalah yang selalu pelajar hadapi lah Okay, so First kita tengok dia punya maksud The amount of energy required by 1 kg substance to Right, both maksud awal sama Amount of energy, both is amount of energy Okay, berapa banyak tenaga yang diperlukan oleh 1 kg bahan Okay, satu bahan Dia perlukan tenaga untuk dua tujuan Sama ada dia nak naik suhu sahaja To increase the temperature or decrease the temperature Naik suhu atau kurangkan suhu Which is dengan absorb, bila dia absorb heat dia punya temperature akan naik Atau dia release dia punya heat Temperature dia akan turun Okay Ataupun dia absorb the heat But the function of the heat is To break uh, Untuk memutuskan ikatan antara zarah Untuk dia mengubah dia punya jirin Pejal kepada cecair Atau cecair kepada gas Alright So macam mana kita nak menjawab soalan nak tahu mana satu nak pakai Okay, cikgu tunjukkan satu contoh mudah dulu Okay, between these two question on the left and on the right So ada dua soalan kat sini So kat sini kita boleh nampak Okay, kita tengok yang the first one dulu So diagram shows 200 gram of coffee at 60 degree Celsius So calculate the heat release when the temperature of coffee drop to 40 degree. Okay. So the first thing is ia adalah kopi. And then what is change? The change is in temperature. Call it this is at theta. Berapa temperature they change? They release it now it change from 60 to 40. The change of temperature is 20 degree Celsius. So suhu dia berubah sebanyak 20 degree celsius So soalan dia Calculate the heat Berapa Q? So kalau ada melibatkan temperature change You just use M C theta Okay So you want find Q Kena ada M, kena ada C, kena ada theta So theta kita dah tahu 20 So mass is Kena tukar kilogram 0.2 kilogram wajib So you get here 0.2 kilogram And then time with specific heat capacity 4184 Joule For every kilogram To change by 1 degree Berapa, berapa tenaga untuk 1 kg Naik 1 degree je Okay And sekarang dia naik 20 degree Okay so berapa amount of energy nya So in total you get 1.6 So kat sini Cikgu nak tunjukkan yang Ni boleh potong kilogram, kilogram So now you have 1.6 times 10 Power of 4 Joule So the answer is A Okay So kenapa cikgu guna M C theta Because there's temperature change Okay Sebelah sini diagram show 500 gram This is the mass Of boiling water being heated using an immersion heater How long does it take for the water to boil? Okay, boil, mendidih So, untuk boiling is change of state From liquid to gas Okay, liquid to gas So, bila dia tukar state You use Q equals to ML Tapi sekarang, the source of heat or the source of Q Heat to Q adalah heat Is from electrical heater So we change Q with electrical energy Power times dengan time ML Okay So the power dia bagi 1 kilowatt Meaning 1 kilowatt is 1000 watt Time tak tahu kita nak cari berapa lama dia nak tukar dari cecair jadi gas 
and the mass 500 gram tukar kilogram 0 0.5 and L is 2.26 times 10 power of 6 joule okay joule per kg so kg boleh potong and then the answer will be 1130 the time okay so first important part is to know mana formula nak pakai because dia ada tukar suhu mc theta tukar state ml okay so example macam bawah ni okay which part of a graph show a change of state change of state is this is solid solid to liquid this is liquid liquid to gas okay so ini adalah latent heat okay latent heat of fusion haba pendam pelakuran and this is latent heat of vaporization haba pendam penguapan okay so yang change state is at q and at s alright so hopefully korang dapat the very fundamental idea bila nak guna mc theta and bila nak guna ml alright so see you on the next video bye bye